clean and so new, so clean. Hey, that's oh, fuck. Shit. I know, jump scare. I look a little bit insane right now. I look a little bit crazy. I have no makeup on. I can't, I can't, I can't. I have no makeup on because the other day I posted a picture for Christmas. And somebody, this user right here, said, I need a makeup tutorial by you, please. I need to know both what brand you be using and how do you do that. Please, a very ugly fella needs your help. First of all, nobody is ugly. Don't be saying that. Because this person commented that they needed a makeup tutorial. Girl, I got in my makeup guru era. Mind you, this was only one person, but I don't care. I enter my makeup guru era immediately. So I want to show you how do I do my makeup. This might be shocking, but I'm not a professional makeup artist. Also, I don't do everything as it's supposed to be. Because I, obviously I watch a lot of makeup tutorials. And I see how the makeup girlies do their makeup in a very cute whatever way. And the steps that they usually do. There are some steps that I don't do it exactly as it's commonly used. If that makes sense. So I'm just warning you. This is how I prep my face and how I do my makeup my way or the highway. Eh. No, I'm kidding. Let's start. She's a singer. So first of all, I start with... I washed my face, obviously, previously. I did it off camera because that, that step is so messy. I don't think you want to see it. But anyway, I wash my face. And the other thing that I do after washing my face is I use a toner. This is the one that I use. Oh, makeup guru era. You see that I'm doing the movement? Hold on, it's not even focusing. What? Oh, okay, there you go. I'm like, why do they even do that if it doesn't even focus? But this is the toner that I use. Um, This is Korean. Yes, because Korean skincare girl. Eh. That's what you want to do. So what I do is I just apply this to my hand. And then kind of like go all in. I'm not going to do my forehead for this makeup tutorial. Because she's wearing a wig. And this wig is not coming off. You're supposed to apply it to all your face. I'm just not going to do it to my forehead. Let's forget about the forehead. I feel like Trixie Mattel. I think she's the one that says. When she's wearing a wig with bangs. She doesn't do her forehead. And it just makes sense. Because why would you do your forehead? So the other thing that I do is. I apply this very tiktok famous hold on let's do the makeup guru pose there you go musing power essence whatever that means i just apply it on my hand and then i go a little bit on my face this will make it very shiny i don't know if you can see it it gives you a good moisture sometimes this step i skip it because like sometimes uh it's kind of hot outside and my face is oily so if it's hot and humid outside i just skip this because i, I just get very just just oily and i don't want to look super oily you know okay so then how do i start my makeup when i do eyeshadow that's gonna be a bright color I always start with a white base in my eyes because if you apply white and then the color, the color is going to look much more brighter than if you apply a regular concealer and then the color. So I do white first. I'm using the Crayolan. Hold on. Hello? Okay, the Crayolan TV paint stick. This is the color 070. I take a brush. This is my makeup brush that is designated for this step. Like, I don't use it for anything else. It's a Morphe brush. It looks like this. You're supposed to clean your brushes, but guess what? Girl math. If I only use it for white paint, I know. Don't come for me. I don't want to hear it. Honestly, I don't want to hear it. Okay, anyway, the thing is that I get the paint on the brush. And what I do is I go in the middle of the eye here. I start painting it. And then I do the other one as well. I start painting the middle of the eye. And because my eyes are a little bit hooded. So I want to see how far my eye goes on top of here. So what I will do is I will open my eyes and look like this. Like lower my head and look up. And then you see, it starts telling you how far your eye reaches. Does that make sense? And you can see that here. It goes here. You see? And then here. So that I will use as a marking guide to draw where I want my eyeshadow. I hope this is making sense. I just, I really hope this is making sense. You don't understand what I'm saying. Just 
see what I'm doing and then do it. So now after I have how far my eyelid goes, I'm gonna draw the shape of the eyeshadow. Now, I warn you, this step, I'm going to look a little bit crazy. Don't be scared, don't be scared, okay? But I'm going to look a little bit crazy. So what I will do is, I will follow along and that's gonna be the highest point that I'm going to reach in the eyeshadow, you see? And then I'm going to paint everything inside. We're going to do the same thing in the other side. Hold on. So I always like to do like a cat type of eye shape. So I'm just going to extend from the end of my eye. I go up and more or less how far I want it. And then I'm going to connect this highest point here with the line that I just did. So I'll just boop. And then I'm going to fill everything inside. That's gonna be the eye shape of the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna do the same thing in the other eye. And then we're gonna go with the regular concealer. This is the one that I use. This is the e.l.f. camo, whatever. This is very non-expensive. This is very cheap and it's so good. You have no idea. Like I've been using expensive concealer and for what? For what? This is so good. I really recommend it. It's a little bit dry. So if you have dry skin, be mindful. Now, I put a little bit of concealer on the brush that I definitely washed before this video. <laughs> I'm telling you, she is not a professional. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the remaining space that I have in between my eyebrow and the white eye cream that I created. So I'm just going to retouch the white eyeshadow again because it started to crease. I don't know if you can see it, but it's creasing. If you let it crease and then do the next step, the next step is going to look bad. So you want it to be smooth. So I'm just going to go with a little bit of more paint this time again. So after you give it a second layer of white paint, what you will do is I have this eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics trendy in Tokyo and I love it because it has like a good set of colors can you see it like it has every color there and they're very good so what I do is I use this line right here the pink one where is my pink brush so first what I like to do is I go with the the lighter one this one and I go right here where the eye starts I do this right here you see and then I will jump. I have this other palette that is very, very new, very new and very clean. The fun size <laughs> palette from Sugar Pill. So clean and so new. So clean. And it has a good set of colors. This one, I will go with the pink in the middle. This one right here. And I will go a little bit more farther into there. So with the same brush, I'll just dip it there. And I go, bah, 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 bah. I'm gonna do the middle of the eye. Also, if you go over the line of the, the white shape that you previously created, don't worry. And then when I'm almost at the end, I'm gonna go with another more darker shade. The second one right here. I'll go and finish that eye shape right there. You see? And then I can go over it here just to blend it a little bit at the end. I'm going to kind of clean the brush and do the same on the other eye. And then you have your base, your pink base. Now, what I do is I grab angle brush, like angle fine brush. I don't know what's the name of this. This one is the Elf Eyebrow Duo. And I'm going to grab a little bit of black eyeshadow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a line to mimic a eyelash. So I start at the center of the eye, right here, and I go all the way down. I did a line right there, you see? And then I'm gonna follow this line that I created with the pink eyeshadow, but not all the way to the top though. And then I'm gonna go down and put it together with the line that I did on the eyelid right here. Do you see it? Here you have like a cat eye. I guess you can say this one is actually a cat eye. So now you can see that it's more defined, the eye. I'm gonna do the same thing in the other eye. And I have that line right there. And then everything that is under the black line is going to get deleted. Like I'm going to clean it. Now, what I'm going to do is just to leave, like let it breathe that area right there. I will draw 
with my makeup concealer, I will do a line right in the middle of my nose. Right there, period. Is it straight? No, hold on, let me fix it. There you go. It doesn't matter if it's too thick because we're, we're gonna fix it later, but just draw that line right there in the middle of your nose. And then what you want to do is you're going to grab this type of brush that it has like a, I don't know, like a circle angle type of thing going on top. So with this brush, I will grab this eyeshadow right here. So this step depends on your skin tone. You want to go the same tone that you will go for a contour, okay? Because we're going to contour our nose. So now pay attention. So what I will do is I will go down using that line that I did as a reference. I will draw kind of like a V from here to my eyebrow and from here to my eyebrow. I start adding brown. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. I start adding brown. And then around this area right here, I'm going to connect both lines. And there's where I will do the, the V. It, it will get on top of the concealer, if you're wondering. You see how it, I almost connected them? So then next, what you want to do is you're going to grab the concealer sponge and you're going to pop, 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 blend it. Try to not go over the lines that you just did because if you do, you're going to lose them. Blend, 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 blend. And you're gonna do it again again i'm gonna grab a little bit more brown eyeshadow and i'm gonna connect those two dots that i did before to create that v do you see it and then finally here connect them like this now here these lines are looking harsh like the brown lines are looking a little bit harsh but don't worry about it because i'm gonna blend it with the makeup sponge in a little bit so then what i will do is i will go with a little bit more brown and i will go under my nose and create a circle so i go under my nose and around and i will create a circle and then you want to make that circle smaller and smaller like you you don't want to make it too big just keep do, keep making it smaller on the top of your nose you don't want the circle to be under your nose no 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 on top the smaller you make the circle the pointy the pointy e that your nose is gonna look circle do you see it Hold on. Now, we need to blend this because she's looking a little bit crazy. She is looking a little bit like she's from Whoville, you know? We cannot allow that. So with the same sponge, you're gonna go over it. Just blend the brown part. Like this. You see how I blended it? Hold on. Can you see? And there you have it. Just let it. Let it rest. Let the nose rest. Because then we're gonna go back to her. Let it rest for now. So now, our eyes have rested. I'm talking like they, they ran a marathon or something. After our eyes have rested, we're going to go over it with a, um, just to dry them up a little bit more to make sure that we don't have anything else. Boom. And now, we're going to add concealer. And I do it like this. I go here. Pop. Pop. Shh, shh. And now again, the sponge. So clean. So bright. We're gonna blend this concealer. And now, as soon as you are done blending your concealer with your sponge, you need to set it. This is this needs to be done quickly. So the setting powder that I have, the Laura Mercier Air, yeah, whatever, this is translucent. How I set it, I use this type of sponge, very clean, also super clean, never been used. I put the setting powder here and then I go in. Pa pa pa. You will see. Boop. Boom. Now we're gonna work on the under eye of the eye. You need to be very careful because there's no coming back from here. If we f it up, we need to clean it and do it again and it won't look pretty. So what I will do is I will just draw a black line in the where I have my um eyelashes, my under eyelashes. Put it together with the black line that I did on top. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Pop. Now what I do is I go with my mascara and I'm gonna do the under eyelashes. This reminds me of the mascara gate that we saw on TikTok a couple of months ago. That was funny. You see, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. You know what? We're gonna leave it there. There's nothing I can do. It cannot be saved. Anyway, the next step. I'm tired, girl. We're gonna do the eyelashes. This is very important because, girl, she's the eye. Literally, this is the eye. 
This is the eyelashes that I have. I'm gonna use a new one for the video. I'm just gonna put some eyelash glue. I'm gonna place the eyelash. I always place my eyelashes going a little bit upwards. You might not notice it in the video, but in the real world, it's very noticeable that I place my eyelash on the eyelid, literally. And it looks a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Who cares? Literally, who cares? I want my eyes to look upwards, so I'm gonna place the eyelash upwards. Who is gonna say no to me? Like, it's literally my makeup my eyelashes which i pay with my money like i'm gonna do what i want i might look insane but that's just how it is what can i say so now we're gonna let it dry first so after i placed the eyelashes what i will do is as you can see there's our like you can peep a little bit of the pink eyeshadow through the eyelashes we don't want that we don't want that so what we will do is we're gonna cover with black that area hold on that you can see the pink eyeshadow we're gonna cover that with black so no we don't want that so you think that all there that is black is the eye line no baby girl that's the eyelid but it's an illusion remember makeup is just an illusion i'm going to do my face now we grab a little bit of foundation i have this kat von d locket foundation something you need to know about this foundation she's heavy heavy duty she's super thick she's super pretty she's full cover mira look and i saw somebody on tiktok a while ago i need to find the video if i find it i'm gonna just put it here but it was this girl making like a test on makeup that she could wear underwater and she wore this foundation and she still looks flawless like she went underwater and came back and she looked like nothing had happened like oh okay this foundation is crazy i love it it's so heavy it's very full coverage like it just looks like your face is not real i like to look like like i'm wearing makeup you know when i'm wearing makeup i like to look like i'm wearing makeup i don't like to look like oh she's wearing makeup but it's so natural it's so subtle no baby girl i'm wearing makeup period and i want people to know that i'm wearing makeup after you are done putting your foundation on what you want to do is settle it with the powder so i have this type of makeup smudge i put a whole lot of setting powder and then baby girl we're gonna it up go in go in girl and you're gonna do the nose as well and after this i'm gonna let it sit while I'll let it sit i'll just do my eyebrows that i forgot to do because girl i usually do this before the eye makeup so what i'm doing is i'm just putting like a gel type of thing on my eyebrows is the i always brush my eyebrows upwards because one thing about me i'm trying to have the star trek eyebrows with the same black brush that i did the this the line i'm going to draw here upwards a line like that and then i'm gonna Put it together you have that end right there then we do the same thing here always upwards because remember we're trying to be star trek and then i put it together here and then just cut off and now you have poop that's how i do my eyebrows i don't care the other step will be the lips now i don't go too crazy on the lips girl i have this milani cosmetics nude cream i just go there nothing crazy that's it for the blush we need some blushy blush i'm gonna use the same palette with the same shade i'm gonna use this pink right here and this orange right here pop, 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 pop. and then with the orange pop, 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 i mix it remove the excess i'm gonna go crazy right here just because just because okay the highlighter girl this is my favorite i have this jeffree star supreme frost wet dream this is like a golden highlighter. I use it with a brush for this area right here. Look at it. Look at it, girl. I go here. The same. All of this. What I like about this um, highlighter is that it's not all glitter. Like, it really blends in with the makeup. It's, it's subtle. It's not crazy it looks like the the skin itself is having that glow it doesn't look like oh that's a that's definitely a highlighter no it looks like oh her skin is moisturized 
and I love that. Here with the little finger, I'm gonna go boop, here, and then I'm gonna go with a line right here. Pop. I'm gonna go a little bit here and here. Think you the shit? You're not even the fart. I love Ice Spice. She's so funny. Voila! That's literally it. Look. You see? Yeah. It's serving. I'm sorry. I don't care. What pe look. Look. Let's do a close up. Let's do a close up. As you can see, I f***ed up with the mascara, like I said before, here, and you can see there's a little bit of creasing, but that is, like, creasing is gonna happen, girl, like, we can do nothing about cr the creasing, like, it's just gonna happen. You're definitely gonna crease, it's just impossible not to crease, okay? Look at it, look at the material. You see what I mean with the highlighter, that it looks like it's actually my skin and not a highlighter, like, it's not obvious. You see? But I think it looks nice. I mean, you be the judge of that. This is the close-up. So yeah, this is literally how I do my makeup. Like I said before, I feel like this makeup looks very good on camera. I mean, does it look good on camera? You tell me. For me, it looks good, but you might feel different. But sometimes in front, like face-to-face, -face, especially the eyelashes because I place them literally on my eyelid, that can look a little bit crazy this is all for my makeup tutorial pink eyeshadow i don't know what to call it this is just my signature makeup look that i like to do for my videos mind you i don't do this makeup every day girl when i'm living my life when i'm out and about being a person i barely do my makeup like let alone do all this eyeshadow and eyelashes like no baby girl i am lazy i only do this for the camera what can i say you want me to try a certain particular type of makeup let me know and i will do it like i'm all for it i mean my makeup guru era like i said okay so thank you for watching and yeah i'll see you i'll see you when i see you Mwah. lots of kisses lots of hugs xoxo gossip girl thank you the shit bitch you're not even the fuck